Hello everyone and welcome to Film of Criticism, where today I'm reviewing Man of Steel. So before we have the awful discourse of movies called Suicide Squad and Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, we have Man of Steel, basically the Iron Man of, DC, of the DCEU, meaning that it was the very first start of this extended universe. So the first thing I want to talk about is Jonathan Kent because, well, I didn't really like this version of Jonathan Kent. Me personally, I feel like well, he was the worst version of Jonathan Kent. Mainly because of one scene, and that one scene is when Clark says, uh, during a flashback scene, Clark saves a group of kids, right? And you're like, okay, good. And there's this parent, she's saying, it was an act of God that my kid and everybody else was alive. And Jonathan Kent goes to talk to his son. You know, we get like a father-son discussion. And this guy literally says, what well, supposed to do? Let them all drown? He's like, maybe, maybe. <laughs> what kind of a parent are you? I don't know what your parent was teaching you. Or are teaching you, but if I say someone, I know for a fact they want to tell me, maybe I should let them die. Also, I understand that Donald wants to protect his son, but when you're someone who's almost as fast as the Flash, the fastest man alive, and you either let him save you, or in turn you have your son be haunted for the rest of his life, knowing that he could have saved your life and the kids, especially when you die from a freaking tornado. Go with a stupid, go with a stupid act of God thing again, because honestly, that guy's in a lot of time. I mean, seriously, I feel like, let's give it up for John Kent, the father of the year. You know who I also want to talk about? Lois Lane. Lois, Clint, Lois Lane is, well, the epitome of a damsel in distress. And I was thinking with this film, they might actually drop that. I was wrong. She's still the ultimate definition of a damsel in distress. Even when they have her be like, she's running off as like a someone you don't want to mess with. And I understand that. Great. You're doing a great job with her. But then. You're like, this, I don't understand, they underline that character that they're writing for when Superman just has to fly in and save her. If I'm supposed to be like, hey, I wouldn't have messed with Lois Lane if I were you, and she's constantly being saved by Superman, you're ruining what you were writing for her. I may be alone in this thought, but when Su or when Clark on the Force of Solitude, honestly, like, one, it was too early, and two, he should not have gotten the suit that moment, okay? Because... Him getting his suit, like, it feels like they are rushing him to be in his suit before the movie ends. And he gets the suit literally before we even enter the first hour of the movie. Before I finish my review, I have to put this out there. <clears throat> Sorry, I just have to put my voice off. Listen. Superman is not Jesus! There! Okay, do you understand me, that Snyder? I mean, multiple times in this film, they have Henry Cavill do the crossbows so many times in this film. And the one time I hated it was when Zon invades Earth, right? And... They're like, Superman, we want you, kal -El, whatever you want to call him, I don't care. But you literally have him in a church talking to a priest, and like an over-the-shoulder shot, they literally are filming him as if he is Jesus. He is Jesus. God, oh, my gosh. Um, but I, I guess we have to think that because just like Jesus, Superman is the one and only person who can save us all. Why, Zach? Why in the world do you think Superman is the same person? Here's an answer. They're not! Okay? The final fight with Zod and Clark is maybe, well, not maybe, probably the weakest film fight with Zod and Clark. And we're just saying something because we have Wonder Woman with Wonder Woman facing Ares in the third act, which honestly fails in my opinion. Um, yeah. They gave a super generic superhero dialogue. I'm like, the only way this wins is if you and I die. The only way this wins is if you die, Clark, or I die. I'm like, oh, come on. I know she's on their team, but are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And, I, and another thing I really hate about superhero films was a stupid portal in the sky scene. Avengers. What? That's every, like, Transformers movie, if you want to call those superhero movies. Um, Stuart Squad had one. Team Ninja Turtles had one. Like, I'm so happy this is so over, but I just had to get that out of my chest. And I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. And that is, with Stuart me. Superman being a hero who stands for hope, justice, and the American way. He is someone who committed murder. And I have no idea why people see this as a good thing. Because this isn't a homelander from the boys. No, this is freaking Superman! How could they mess up one simple thing? Don't answer that question. It was rhetorical. To cap off, this movie is an okay movie, in my opinion. But honestly, the next thing that they make another Superman Superman origin movie, because we all know that they will. I hope they learn the mistake that they have made to fix the one.
being one of the most obvious ones, Superman saves people. And you know what? You know what? After all this, I'm done.